And then y'all talk about the women in the Bible. What is the strongest thing outside of God in the Bible above man or anything else? What is the strongest thing? Do y'all know? A woman. Yeah. So shut up with that bullshit. When you go in the first Ezra, stop. When you go in the first Ezra, the third chapter, it says the only thing stronger on the planet is the uh, than a woman is the Most High. So when y'all saying that, y'all like to cherry pick two or three scriptures where it talks about. I'm, I'm thinking done in a second. Y'all like to cherry pick two or three scriptures when it talks about how bad a woman is. When a woman can be bad, a man can be bad. But the scriptures say a virtuous woman is above prices above rubies. So you can't pick and choose and cherry pick what you want to do to fit your argument. We give one thing I love about that Bible. It gives the whole spectrum. It don't just talk about the goodness of either of us, male, female. Israel is one of the most destructive forces in the Bible. And that's our records. This is first Israel four and 26. Yea, many there be that have run out of their wits for women and become servants for their sakes. Many have also perished, have erred and sinned for women. Shalom. Giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, Bashim, Rukakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well in all truth and sincerity. Shalom, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the house of David, starting with 144,000. Followed by the one third remnant, Shalom. All right, so you saw in the clip this guy, um, Salaki, this guy, uh, the so called captain, all right, Tazaria, all right, basically propping up women, man. All right, nowhere in the scriptures do you see anything about women empowerment, man. Basically, feminism, man. All right, now the scriptures. Now, are there all virtuous, righteous women in the scriptures? Of course. All right. But the women, is, but women is not to be propped up over the man, man. All right. The divine order is given in the scriptures. All right. There's the most high Yahweh. All right. There's the one and only begotten son, Yahweh Shah. The man, then the woman, and then the children. All right. So if the, if, if, if women are more powerful than men, all right. Why why isn't uh why isn't the order the most high Yahweh? All right, women, then then Yahweh Shah, then the rest of the men, and then the children. Cause he said he said outside he said women is the most powerful thing in the Bible outside of women, right? All right, and what is Yahweh Shah? Yahweh Shah is a man. So that would make women above Yahweh Shah then. If that was the case. But no, man, the, the 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 woman is under the man, man. All right, and this guy, you know, these these are basically, man, these these guys prop the women up, man. Put women on pedestal, man. All right, you know, like the uh, like the brother uh, Malachi says, man. You know. <laughs> He said all the time, man. He said, uh, Jake don't see themselves as the prize, man. They always propping up women and think they're supposed to chase after the woman, man. No, man. You you men are the prize, man. You the prize, Jake. All right? Not the woman. All right? The woman was made to serve you, not the other way around, Jake. All right? Plain and simple. All right? And there's many scriptures we can get where, you know, women are, you know, basically scriptures that talk about the the wickedness of women. All right, I ain't going to even get into that. I may hit a few scriptures on it. I may not, you know. But, you know, I'm this lesson going to be more so based up because he's saying that, you know, outside of outside of the outside of God, the one woman is the most powerful thing on earth, man. No, man. All right. It's clear that the man is above the woman, man. The woman is the weaker vessel. Let's get that one. What's that uh uh first First Peter, I think I marked it. Yeah, First Peter three and seven. Matter of fact, I started. I started five. First Peter three and five. For after this manner, in the old time, the holy women also who trusted in the heavenly Father 
adorn themselves being in subjection unto their own husbands. All right. So the holy women, the righteous women who trusted in Yahweh Shema Shah, they they put the, the you know they're in subjected to the men, man. So how can how can how can women be more powerful than men? All right, it says here the holy women, all right, the righteous women, the virtuous women. They were subject to the to their men, man, their husbands, not the other way around. Because that's what a righteous woman is gonna do, because she knows that she's not above the man. She was made to serve the man, all right. First Peter three and six, even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, whose daughters ye are, as long as ye do well and are not afraid with any amazement. All right. So why did why did Sarah call Abraham Lord? If the woman is, is, is more powerful than the man, if the woman is above the man, why wouldn't Abraham call him Sarah Lord or Lord it, whatever you want to say, <laughs> you know? No, man, because the the Lord made woman to serve the man as a matter of fact when you go into the word woman that's what it means it means servant all right and of course you know we're not you no know, gms we, us here at gms we're not anti-women we're not <laughs> we're not uh what's that movie the, uh little rascals the uh he man woman's haters club no man that ain't us but we know how you how about you shot set it up man we know the righteous order the divine order the way things are supposed are supposed to be the way the Lord made it, man. Like I said, the scriptures give the order, man. All right. The most high, the one and only begotten son, the man, the woman, and then the child, man. That's just how it is. If you don't like it, oh well, man. All right. First Peter three and seven. Likewise, ye husbands dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife, as unto the weaker vessel, and as being asked together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. Yeah, man, so the woman is the weaker vessel, man. All right? Because who, who, uh, who did the serpent go to? The man or the woman? Yep, the woman. The serpent didn't go to the man. He went to the woman because he knows that the woman is the weaker vessel, man. All right? Matter of fact, let's get that. Yeah, man, because it's all, you know, the woman is not above the man. The women are, are women ought to be subject to the men, man. All right. Plain and simple. But you got these guys. That, see, that's why the scripture say the leaders of this people has caused them to err, man. This guy is supposed to be a leader in Israel, Captain Cesariot. But what is he telling? What is he telling? All right, he's going against the scriptures, man. He's going off according to the scriptures. Talking about the woman is the most powerful thing. When the scriptures say that the woman is under the man. All right, big out. Second Corinthians eleven and three. But I fear, least by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtility. So your minds should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in some hum, 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 that is in Hamashiach. All right. So yeah, man, the serpent beguiled Eve. The serpent didn't beguile Adam. All right. So, cause why? Cause, cause the serpent knew that the woman is the weaker vessel, man. He knew he had to go to the woman to get to the man, and that's how they, they did in this, the so-called white man did in this time, man. He took what, man? He uh he pit the man against the woman. Feminism, man. All right. That that she devil Gloria Gloria Steinem, all right, bought in that uh feminism BS crap, man. And now look how that worked out for for these women. You got women that's that's coming out and saying that you know they were deceived by feminism, man. Women that's crying because they don't have no men. All right, they don't know what to do without a man. All right, see everything is coming to a head, man. Cause see the serpent turned everything upside down. By propping up the women. That's why society is effed up the way it is now. Because Esau Edom, so-called white man, gave gave the woman a position of leadership in this society, man. And that's why this place is going down. All right? One of the many reasons, as did ancient Rome, man. They propped up women, man. And they fell. So this is going to happen again in this revived Roman Empire, man. All right? So the serpent beguiled Eve, not Adam. The scriptures say that, uh... What's that, uh, Sirach 25? 
Let's see. Did I mark it? I don't think I marked that one. Let's see. But yeah, man. All right. Let me unmark these. So yeah, man. Uh, I think it's Iraq, the 25th chapter. So yeah, man. Of the woman came the beginning of sin, man. All right. Yep. I'm going to go straight to the point. Sirach or Ecclesiastes 25 and 24. Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. So yeah, the serpent beguiled Eve, man. Sin entered in through the woman, not the man. So the woman is not the most powerful thing besides the most high, man. All right. The woman is under the man, point blank, period. End of story. According to Yahabashim Shah, according to the scriptures. That's the righteous order. That's the way things are supposed to be, man. All right. Now, are women important? Yes. All right. We're not downplaying the role that Yahabashim Shah has given women, man. But he gave women a certain role for a reason because they're the weaker vessel. All right. Matter of fact, let's go get that. Because men and women have different roles for a reason, man. All right. I think I marked that one. Let's see. Yep, Titus 2. And I started at 3. Titus 2 and 3. The aged woman likewise... That they be in behavior as become holiness, not false accusers, not giving too much wine, teachers of good things. That they may teach their young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands. That the word of the heavenly father be not blasphemed. Yeah, man. All right. Because I read that, man. You know, the holy women was always subject to their husband, man. So that's why... uh. The Apostle Paul is telling Titus, man, you know, about these women that they're supposed to be, you know, discreet chase keepers at home, obedient to their own husband. All right. Because the 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 the, the woman, the Yahweh Shemal Shah put the woman under the man. The Lord made the woman to be in subjection to the man, man. And that's what women are supposed to do. So that the word of, of Yahweh Shemal Shah is not blasphemed as, as we just read, man, in Titus 2 and 5, man. So these women are not to be out working. You know, being around men, trying to take on men's roles, man, doing what men do. No, man, because the Lord didn't make women to do that, man. All right. And Paul also said that. All right. Let's go get that. Because the women were made for men, man, not the other way around. Matter of fact, let me bring up the blue letter. Yeah, all right. He said he said that he said that about the age women. Now let's see what the younger women are supposed to do. All right. Matter of fact, let me go find it here. All right, because women are supposed to keep the house, man, and, and, and bring up the children, man. Provide that nur that that be a nurturer, man. Not a go getter, not a provider. That's for the man. All right. Matter of fact, what at that? Yeah. Yep. First Timothy five. All right. So we read about the age women. Now let's see what the younger women should be doing. Honor widows is the subheading. All right. First Timothy five. And 
I'll go straight to the point. First Timothy 5 and 14. I will therefore that the younger women marry, bear children, guide the house, give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully. Yeah, man. So that's what, so that's what, that's the roles of women, man. The aged women, all right, and the younger women, man. Be keepers at home. You know, marry, have children, guide the house, man. Keep the house, man. All right. So yeah, man. That's what that, that's why the woman, woman have those have that role, man. And that's a beautiful thing to see see a woman. In, in a uh, righteous order, man, doing what she's supposed to do. That's the most attractive thing about a woman, man. All right? Because when we was in the world, man, you know, we just saw women for for basically their, uh, their, their, their looks, man. When the scriptures tell you that, you know, design, to design not a woman for her beauty or for her countenance, man. All right? But yeah, man, especially, you know, having learned, you know, how to really be men, you know, from the apostles and the elders on down the Great Millstone, yeah, man, and and that's the true what that's true what they taught us, man. When you when you see a woman in her righteous order, man, dressing how she's supposed to dress, being adorned in modest apparel and doing what she's supposed to do, man, that that's a very you know attractive thing, man. All right, that's the most desirable thing about a woman to a man, man. Seeing a woman in her righteous order because that's the way the Lord made them. And that's what turns us men on the most when it comes to women, man. All right. So, yeah, man, this guy, this guy, man, you know, I'm going to play it again. All right. But this guy is going off, Captain Cesare up, man, propping up the women, that queen of heaven worship, man. And then y'all talk about the women in the Bible. What is the strongest thing outside of God in the Bible above man or anything else? What is the strongest thing? Do y'all know? A woman. Yeah. So shut up with that bullshit. When you go in the first Ezra, stop. When you go in the first Ezra, the third chapter, it says the only thing stronger on the planet is the uh, than a woman is the Most High. So when y'all saying that, y'all like to cherry pick two or three scriptures where it talks about. I'm, I'm thinking done in a second. Y'all like to cherry pick two or three scriptures when it talks about how bad a woman is. When a woman can be bad, a man can be bad. But the scriptures say a virtuous woman is above price is above rubies. So you can't pick and choose and cherry pick what you want to do to fit your argument. We give one thing I love about that Bible, it gives the whole spectrum. It don't just talk about the goodness of either of us. Male, female. Israel is one of the most destructive forces in the Bible. And that's our records. Alright. So yeah, man, he's talking about first uh he's talking about Israel's the third chapter, man. No, that's just that's just men basically giving their opinion of what they thought the strongest thing is. That's not the words of Yahweh Bashim Matter of fact, let's go there, man. Let's go there and, and read a few. I ain't going to get the whole account. All right. Let's read a few scriptures, man. Let's go there. Let's read a few scriptures. Let's see. All right. Yeah, basically, this is just these men giving their giving their opinion, man. All right. I am um I'm just gonna skim through it. All right. The first uh said that you know wine is the strongest. The second said that 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 the king is the strongest. The third one wrote that women are the strongest. All right. But he said what above all. All right, first answer is three and twelve. The third wrote, women are the strongest, but above all things, truth beareth the way to victory. All right. All right. So yeah, man. All right. And that and that and, and, and that's the truth, man. The truth is truth is the strongest. All right. <laughs> all right. So yeah, man. Let's uh All right, cause cause they came to the conclusion that you know truth is the, is the strongest, man. All right. All 
All right. Matter, and matter of fact, I'm just going to read this first Esther 4 and 34. All right. To get to give you the conclusion of this whole account. First Esther 4 and 34. O ye men, are not women strong? Great is the earth, high as the heaven, swift as the sun and in its course, for he compasses the heaven round about and fet fetcheth his course again to his own place in one day. Is he not great that maketh these things? Therefore, great is the truth and stronger than all things. All right. All the earth cries upon the truth, and the heaven blesseth it. All works shake and tremble at it, and with it is no unrighteous thing. Wine is wicked, the king is wicked, women are wicked, all the children of men are wicked. And such are all wicked works, all their wicked works, and there is no truth in them, in their unrighteousness. Also they shall perish. As for truth, it endureth and is always strong. It liveth and conquereth forevermore. All right. With her, and you see a symptom, see, see, it's her, her, talking about the woman, no, this her, it's the truth, man. This her is referring to the truth that he's speaking of. First Ezra 4 and 39. With her, there is no acceptable there's no accepting of persons or rewards, but she that doeth the things that are just and refrain from all unjust and wicked things, and all men do well like of her works. Neither in her judgment is there any unrighteous, and she is the strength, kingdom, power, and majesty of all ages. Blessed be the power of truth. All right. And this is the point. All right. The conclusion of the whole thing. And with that, he held his peace and all the people then shouted and said, great is truth and mighty above all things. So, yeah, man. All right. Truth is the strongest, man. And the uh, ultimate truth is what? Yahweh Bashim was shy. All right. But the truth is being compared to a woman. All right. And you got a simpleton there to say, well, why are they compared to a man? And no, man, because, you know, that's just that's just how how it is, man. You know, truth is compared to women as is uh wisdom is compared to a woman, man. All right. And just like us, what the Lord compares us to a woman, man. All right. That's just the way it is, man. All right. But yeah, man. So he was talking about first address three says that women is the uh, most powerful thing. No, the guy was just saying that he. He thought that the guy, uh, the uh, guy, uh, guy was giving his opinion that he thought women was the strongest. But ultimately, they came to the conclusion that what the truth was what? Truth, man. Truth is the most powerful thing, man. All right. So let's go get. All right. <laughs> but yeah, these guys, man. You know. This guy propping up women, man. That's what these other camps do, man. Probably these women. And that's why you have these women always bucking up against the prophets, man, because they're following these camps that are propping them up and putting them on a pedestal and think they got a, uh, something to say and they think, think they think the ministry is about them, that the ministry revolves around them, man. No, the ministry is about the men. All of the elect are men. The 144,000 are all men. There's not one woman of the 144,000. All right? So, yeah, man. Cause he said what uh he the, the scripture said that the price of a the price of a of a virtuous woman is above rubies. And that's true, man. You know, the scripture say he that getteth the wife uh getteth the good thing, man. But it also says what a, a possession. So a woman is a possession, man. All right. A husband is not a possession to a woman. All right, but a wife is a possession to a man because again the word woman means servant. The women were made to serve men. All right. Now he said that about the you know women and rubies, but why didn't he get this? Uh, why didn't he? Why didn't? Why didn't he get this? Why didn't he bring up this scripture? All right. Why didn't he bring up this scripture, man? Bear with me for a second. Isaiah thirteen and twelve, going straight to the point. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. So, yeah, why he ain't say nothing about that, man? All right. <laughs> why he ain't say nothing about that? He talking about women uh, hiding rubies. Why he ain't mention Isaiah 13 and 12? Because why they have run out of their wits for women, man. They're trying to please women. They're trying to get these women followers, man. 
They're trying to please the woman instead of trying to please Yahweh by Shema All right. So why didn't the Lord say here in Isaiah the 13th chapter, I will make a woman more precious than fine gold, even a woman than the golden wedge of Ophir. No, he said a man. Men are going to be priceless in that day, man. All right. So, yeah, man, it, it, this thing is about the men, the men of Yahweh by Shema this thing, first, it's like it, first and foremost, it's about Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right. This whole ministry is about Yahweh Shah. All right. Because we have to serve the Yahweh through Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah is our Lord and Savior. Yahweh Shah is our salvation, man. Yahweh Shah is our everything. So this ministry is about Yahweh Shah. And then the men of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right. So, yeah, man. This guy, you know, propping up women. No, man. That's that queen of heaven BS, man. All right. And I'm just going to hit a few scriptures showing you that it's about the men. All right. Isaiah 32 and 2. And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest as rivers of waters in a dry place as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. Again, why does it say why doesn't it say a woman shall be a hiding place from the wind? No, it says a man. Cause this thing is all about the men of Yahweh Bashim Shah, man. A woman's salvation is gonna come through a man. Alright? Not the other way around. Again, going back to the divine order. Alright, it's the most high, it's Yahweh Shah. The man, then the woman. Alright, yeah, our salvation is gonna come through Yahweh Shah. Lord willing, we be of the elect. You know, and also, Lord willing, be we be of the elect. The woman is the one. Uh, the woman's salvation is gonna come through us. All right, because you know the scriptures say what she shall be saved, then childbearing, because that's the woman's whole purpose, man. As a, as the apostle Paul said to Titus, I would that the younger women marry and bear children, man. Because that's why they're gonna be they're gonna be saved, then childbearing, man. All right, this Bible is the biggest red pill book on the planet, man. You don't see nothing about no women empowerment in the scriptures. Scriptures say, I suffer not a woman to teach. The scriptures say, you know, a, a woman ought to, ought to be in silence, to learn in silence, man, to learn at home. All right. It's all, it starts with the men. The woman comes up under the man, the man, man, not the other way around. All right. Abraham. Well, first of all, the Most High is a man. Yahweh Shai is a man. All right. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the 12 patriarchs, all men. Why, why aren't none of these women? All right. All the prophets. All right. The disciples, all men, man. All right. Why is this? Because no, man. Because the woman is under the man, not the other way around. All right. So, yeah, man, a man is going to be priceless in that day, not a woman. All right. Now, again, a woman in her in her in her order is a beautiful thing, man. All right. We love we love we love the sisters that have came back, you know, came out of the world. All right. Put down that fem feminism crap, man. All right. And, and have came up under the obedience of the scriptures by coming under the obedience of a man. All right, that's a beautiful thing, all right? Yeah, all right, and we, you know, we we love the very few sisters, man, that, that, that uh, that's trying their best to be righteous, man. All right? But again, this thing is about the men. All right? Ezekiel 34 and 31. And ye, my flock, the flock of my pasture, are men. And I am your power, saith the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah power. Yeah, man. So the flock of the Lord's pasture is men. All right. Not women. All right. So the Lord is dealing with men, man. Not women. All right. I don't know, like I said, I'm just hitting a few scriptures, man. All right, showing you that it, it this thing revolves around the men, man. All right, the men are commanded to do the work, not not the women. The women ought to be at home, man. 
And I'm just getting a few uh, scriptures through the spirit. Proverbs 8 and 4. Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men. Yeah, man, men and sons, man. All right? Not women. So this thing is all about the men, man. It starts with the man. All right? Women are going to be saved by being joined unto a man. Women are not going to get spiritual power, man. The men are going to get spiritual power. That's why I say the man shall be a hiding place from the wind. All right, this Isaiah 4 and 1. All right, it says what seven women shall take hold of one man. Not seven men take hold of one, one woman. All right, so this guy, you know, these, these counts, man, they all, they, they're about that queen of heaven spirit, man. What did that woman say to you? How shall blessed be the paps that thou hast sucked, man, in the womb that bear thee? That's, that's, that, that's what's going on here, man. All right. All right. So, yeah, man, he, these guys, you know, propping up women, man, and basically simping, man, trying to please women, man. You got to see yourself as the prize, Jake. The women should chase you, try to please you, not the other way around. All right? Because women are the weaker vessel. All right? Matter of fact, I'm, just to get a quick example... What's that, Jeremiah 50 or Jeremiah 51? Yep, Jeremiah 51. And 30, the modern men of Babylon have forborne the fight. They have remained in their holes. Their might had failed. They became as women. All right, they have burned her dwelling places. Her bars are broken. They have become as women. Why? Because women are weaker than men, man. So these men are going to be like women in that day, the men of Babylon, man. All right? They're going to be scared like women because that's what women do for the, in, in adversity, man. They, 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 they fold, man. They, they become faint. All right? Because um, women don't have stronger faith than men, man. All right? Now, some women have great faith, true. But in general, a woman's faith is nowhere near as strong as a man's faith, man. All right? Again, Jeremiah 51 and 30. The mighty men of Babylon have forborne the fight. They have remained in their holes. They, they, their might have failed. They became as women. So, yeah, man, women are the weaker vessel, man. All right? And like the apostles say all the time, man, when all hell break loose, these women are going to catch it the worst because men, you know, at the end of the day, a man just going to man up and say, F it, man. You know, I got to do what I got to do. But these women are going to fail, man. They're going to they're gonna be faint, man. They're going to be of little to no faith. That's why women always, women, women don't like to be uncomfortable for one second, man. They got to know that they're going to have something to eat, that they're going to have a roof over their head. Women can't be uncertain for one second, man. They are, they got to have that security. All right, but men, men, men will just go with the flow, man. A man will just um man up at the end of the day and do what do what the hell he gotta do. All right. Just to get a quick account, this is uh matter of fact, so I can go straight to it. Get this quick account, man. Cause, cause women have weaker faith than men. This is Job. All right, I'm gonna go straight to the point. You know, this is Job, the second chapter. Of course, everybody knows the stories of Job, the story of Job. You know, Job was catching all kind of hell, man. But Job stayed down. Job, Job stayed faithful. But listen to what his wife did. Going straight to the point, Job 2 and 9. Then said his wife unto him, Dost thou still retain thine integrity? Curse 
the most high and die. And that's what women do, man, when they going through it. They lose all faith, man. She tried to get Joe to go off. Here it is. Joe had done went through all this, but she told him, you know, he done made it this far. Curse, curse God and die. Why would he go through all that and then at the end give up, man? No, man, because that, that's what women do, man. Women are emotional. They think emotionally. They act emotionally, man. There, there's no logic in women, man. All right. Yeah, she told Joe just basically seeing with his lips, man. All right, Joe 2 and 10. But he said unto her, thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaketh. What? Shall we receive good at the hand of the heavenly father? And shall we not receive evil? And all this did not Job sin with his lips. So, so his wife sinned with her lips, but Job didn't sin with his lips, man. Showing you that they, what these women are going to break down, man, because that's what women do, man. As, as, as the um, men of Babylon are going to do it, their armies or whatever, man, they're going to be as women. They're going to break down, man. All right. Let's get another one. All right. Let's get another one. What is that, Luke? Let's get another one, man. Going back to who? Lot. We just read about Job's wife. Let's read about Lot's wife. Why I can't? So lock your bell with me for a second. Matter of fact, let me just get it like this. So yeah, man, these women, because women break down, man. They crumble. All right, when it's time to show, show, show and exemplify faith, man. All right. Yeah, I, know, I figured it was in Luke. Cause I ain't gonna get the whole account. I'm just going to get this one. This is the book of Saint Luke. Because everybody also knew about the story of Lot too. Luke 17 and 32. Yahweh shall speak. Remember Lot's wife. And why did Yahweh shall say this? Because what? Lot, Lot's wife looked back, man. When it was time to get the hell on, get the hell out of us. Sodom, she didn't want to leave, basically. That's why she looked back. All right. Lot didn't look back, but his wife did. All right. So, yeah, man, that's why his wife was made into a pillow of salt. She didn't want to give give give, give up that security, man, because Lot was, Lot was well off, man. All right. Because if you remember Lot and um, Abraham, they had so much substance that they had to uh, separate, man. All right. So Lot was very well off, extreme, extremely wealthy, man. All right. Lot had a lot had great substance. And his wife didn't want to give that up. All right. When when Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed, man. She looked back. Showing you that these women are not stronger than, than the men, man. All right. So yeah, man, I just wanted to hit that quick point, man. All right. But you got guys like this that call themselves leaders. All right. Pedestalizing women, man. Propping up women, man. All right. Let me go get this one real quick since I marked it. Proverbs 31 and 3. Give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. All right. So yeah, you ain't supposed to give your strength into, into women, man. Because women make you weak. Alright. Women make you emotional, man. You put this that's why the scripture that's why the scripture say, gird thy laws and show thyself a man. Alright. Yeah, man. Give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to that which destroyed kings. Proverbs 31 and 3. So yeah, man. Alright. And that's why women that's why men. Parish, man, because of women, man. That's why uh, 
men go off because of women, man. Because they, they, run, they run out of their wits for women. They bec they're weak when it comes to these women, man. All right. So, yeah, man. All right. <laughs> The woman is the most powerful thing, yet the scriptures say this. I'm probably going to close out with this one. Job 39 and 17. Because the heavenly father had deprived her of wisdom, neither hath he imparted to her understanding. Talking about the woman. But she's the most powerful thing on the earth. All right. She's the most powerful thing besides the most high. But the Lord deprived the most powerful thing of wisdom, man. All right. The woman is so powerful that the Lord didn't even give her wisdom. Neither hath he imparted under, to her understanding. But she's the most powerful thing. Come on, man. These guys are going to hell off, man. It's a damn shame, man. All right. Like I said, man, the scriptures talk about how, you know, the wickedness of a woman. All right. Scripture says it is better to it is better to dwell, or I think like rough paraphrasing, like with a scorpion, than than to dwell in with the wicked woman, man. All right, you got a bunch of scriptures like that, man. Scriptures also say, "Give me any wickedness, but the wickedness of a woman." All right. So yeah, man. You know I ain't gonna get all the scriptures. God just want this to be you know as brief as possible. All right, but I want to show you that you know. It's all about the man, man. The Lord is dealing with men, not women. All right? So this guy's completely going off, man. Queen of heaven, spirit, woman worship, man. But we going to see. All right? Because scriptures always already tell us what's going to happen in that day, man. These women are going to fold, man. These women going to be scared shitless out here, man. And you're going to have a, most men that's going to be like that. The only ones that's not going to be like that is the, is the men of the hopeful elect. All right. So I just want to, you know, speak on that uh, real quick. You know, the woman is not above the man, man. All right. The scriptures say the, uh, the, the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. All right. These women ought to be subject to their husband, man. Go read Genesis, the third chapter. All right. Men are to lord over women, man. Point blank, period. End of story. Captain Cesariac. And all you camps out there, man, put propping up, got these women propped up and got them proud the way they are, man. Thinking they can rebuke men, come against men, tell men what to do. That's why this, 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 this great humbling is coming to these women. All right, so, you know, hopefully this was edifying through the spirit and power of Yah by Shem Yahweh I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah by Shem Rukakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone who teach and rule well in all truth and sincerity. Shalom, peace and blessing to the hopeful elect, the house of David, starting with 144,000, followed by the one third remnant. Shalom. Hey, the, hey, <laughs> it's all, the Lord is dealing with men, not women. All right. Jake, you are above the woman. Get it through your head. And you stiff neck rebellious women out there. Now you few sisters that are doing what you're supposed to do, and hey, you're going to be good to go, man. The Lord going to save you by joining you unto a man. All right? So, yeah, man, the Lord is dealing with men, not women. A Baba Ball, Shalom.